New tonight, hundreds of residents of Rio Verde foothills have gone without water service for six months now as we head into the peak wildfire season. There is just one possible solution left on the table, but neighboring Scottsdale is a major obstacle. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. For 12 News at 6, I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. The city of Scottsdale has opposed any legislation that would require them to be part of the solution. Team Charles Bram Resnick sat down for an extended interview today with Scottsdale Mayor David Ortega with one question in mind. Why does he oppose offering help? Bram, what did he say? Well, Mark Mayor David Ortega dismisses his critics as, quote, emotional. He says he's defending his city. But every solution offered to Rio Verde Foothills problems needs Scottsdale's help, in most cases, at no cost to Scottsdale. But the mayor is balking. Scottsdale Mayor David Ortega likes to say that water isn't a compassion game. Oh my gosh, cliche, They're, the house is on fire. So Ortega isn't swayed by the urgent needs of a neighboring desert community whose water service he cut off six months ago. We cannot afford the luxury of treating water as an emotional issue. Ortega has demonstrated repeatedly that Rio Verde Foothills' lack of water isn't the city of Scottsdale's problem. The margin for error in this drought-stricken state is very slim. Ortega confirmed he blocked the city water manager's plan last fall that would have allowed a private water supplier, Epcor, to provide water to the foothills through Scottsdale's pipes at no cost to Scottsdale. That plan likely would have averted a cutoff. In a May 16th letter to EPCOR's executives, Ortega said he wanted nothing to do with Rio Verde foothills. In the letter, obtained by 12 News through a public records request, Ortega said, The purpose of this letter is to affirm that the city of Scottsdale has no authority, no responsibility, no interest whatsoever in the unincorporated county areas abutting Scottsdale. Ultimately, our water system is not at the disposal of entities, dummy corporations. And Ortega has opposed legislation at the Capitol to restore service. That includes a bill just one vote away from passage. So there's all sorts of flaws and complications for this. The mayor has accused the bill's sponsor, Republican lawmaker Alex Colladin, of betraying Scottsdale residents. He is, he is the mayor, of course, he's entitled to, to speak, but if, if I had my preference, uh, he'd let us solve the problem. Colladin's a Scottsdale resident himself, who's been working on a complex bill to restore water service. Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs has endorsed it. I have a duty and obligation to the voters of my district, and what I'm trying to do for the voters of my district is get them water. But, like any Rio Verde solution, the bill isn't a sure thing. Colladin wouldn't speculate on how soon the bill could come to a final vote. I, I would say that's a question I'm not going to answer right now. And the clock is ticking. The legislature gets back to work next Monday. It will likely have about two weeks to find a way to restore water to Rio Verde foothills. Let's send it back to you. All right, Bram, thank you.